As the country prepares to celebrate Juneteenth as a national holiday, I am overwhelmed. Folks like Linda Sanders has been recognizing Juneteenth's history and impact for decades. Your new queen for 1996. Sanders was president and founder of the Miss Juneteenth Scholarship Beauty Pageant from 1990 to 1997, an event that helped promote cultural awareness and self-awareness to a variety of African-American young women over the years. They were not given the opportunity like the Miss Texas, the Miss America pageant, and I felt that to make this a more meaningful Juneteenth was to change that. Sanders is a former hair and print catalog model who once graced the pages of Jet Magazine in October 1973. Let me tell you, everybody and their mom and daddy back then had a Jet Magazine. She says the idea of her Miss Juneteenth pageant grew while teaching etiquette classes at Moreland YMCA in Oak Cliff. Sanders felt the pageant could be an outlet to help boost self-esteem, provide scholarships, and prepare young black women for the world. The purpose was to promote them. Dozens of women from across North Texas competed to become Miss Juneteenth. What would be your number one issue in order to combat the violence in America? In the 1990s, Miss Juneteenth finalists would even tackle questions about tough issues. I believe that gun violence is the problem that faces us today. Issues still relevant in communities today. Sanders believes the Miss Juneteenth pageant holds a special history, especially for women and people who may have felt overlooked. To make them feel that they are worthy. In Forney, I'm Damon Fernandez.